Drew. And I'm Bronte. And we're third year textile students at AUT. So I originally came to AUT to study fashion design. After two years I realised that textile design was going to be better suited for me. I get to create everything from scratch and create really beautiful fabrics and we can then take those through to either interior design or fashion design if we want to. I've always been interested in fashion. Um, my nana was a dressmaker so I've been around it my entire life. But I was never good at sewing and I was more interested in the fabrics. So I decided to do textiles because I could do prints and other things with still being within the fashion realm. I discovered knitting when I came to AUT. I found out that it was more than just grandmas and wool sitting around knitting together. It's one piece of thread moved side to side on massive machines and they make anything from even the t-shirt you're wearing to the latest sports shoes. Everything is knitted these days without even realising it. It's such a cool industry and you don't even know what you're going to really make next. So this is the Shimaseki knitting machine. All the information gets done on the computer and it goes on a little USB into the machine and that's when the machine takes over. So using this machine you can make a top in well under an hour, which is much faster than my sewing skills. So this machine is actually what got me really excited about AUT back when I was year 13, just having a tour around the university. I saw this and pretty much knew straight away that that is what I wanted to master by the time I finished my degree. As well as knitting, I've been working on a range of leather prints. It's a bit of an unconventional fabric to really print on. I've been looking at screen printing, um, using puff paints, making even embossing plates which they use for paper, so it's very innovative and you can use do anything, it's very experimental. These textiles could end up anywhere, the possibilities are endless, bags, couches, jewellery. I'm making a knitwear collection and I'm currently working on this dress which funnily enough started off as a small square of fabric. I've developed it into this dress over here. There's actually a lot to take into consideration. First of all, there's what the fabric feels like when you're wearing it. Obviously, you want it to be comfortable. Then there's the shape. Every time I change any part of the structure, it throws the shape right out. And I'm now just nailing the colour of the dress and what it's going to be. It's just so rewarding starting with something as small as that piece of fabric and developing it into an amazing dress like this. I just really enjoy it. In the future, I'll hopefully continue my education over in England and study abroad in knitwear. The programs are crazy over there. And maybe I'll get good enough and have a label of my own. Yeah, I also want, definitely want to have my own label one day, but for now, once I finish uni, I'm aiming to just work for some cool New Zealand brands and learn the ropes from the best and see how collection works in the commercial industry. And yeah, that's the plan, really. Yeah. Please, hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No. Eva, you've been pushing. No. So oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,